You've been diagnosed with an ectopic pregnancy. Now what? How do you treat your ectopic pregnancy? What's the best choice? Here's a detailed look into your two options. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. In the previous video, we learned about ectopic pregnancies, including risk factors and how they're diagnosed. As a reminder, an ectopic pregnancy is a life-threatening condition and needs to be treated immediately. It cannot be moved to the uterus, so it's a non-viable pregnancy. In this video, we'll learn about the two options for management, medical or surgical. If the pregnancy has ruptured, then the only option is surgery. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. The only approved medication for treatment of an ectopic pregnancy is called methotrexate. Usually only one dose is required, but some people may need a second or multiple doses. You might have heard about methotrexate before because it's actually a chemotherapy drug, but it's given at a much smaller dose when used for ectopic pregnancies. And it's used because it targets cells that are quickly dividing, which means it preferentially targets the pregnancy. Even though the dose is smaller, you may still have side effects because it can affect other rapidly dividing cells in the body, including the cells lining the mouth, the intestines, the lungs, the bone marrow, and hair. Common side effects include nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, and stomatitis, which is inflammation of the lining of the mouth. The rarer side effects are hair loss and inflammation of the lungs. Due to the way methotrexate works, you'll need to avoid foods that are high in folate, such as dark leafy greens or multivitamins, because they will stop the methotrexate. You should also avoid direct sunlight, alcohol, heavy exercise, and vigorous intercourse. Finally, do not try to become pregnant until your OBGYN provider has informed you that the treatment of the ectopic pregnancy is finished. Even then, it is recommended to wait one to three menstrual cycles to make sure the methotrexate is completely out of your body and can't affect the next pregnancy. The other option is surgery, usually by laparoscopy, which is where three small incisions are made on the abdomen so a camera and instruments can be inserted to remove the pregnancy. The fallopian tube will very often be removed with the pregnancy. You'll then be able to go home on the same day as the surgery. Unless there is a reason that you can't choose one of the options, then both are acceptable. You will have some abdominal pain and abnormal bleeding with either option while your body returns to normal. It comes down to weighing the risks and benefits of both options and deciding on which one you prefer. Your OBGYN provider will be there to help answer your questions. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.